Hi guys, Kyle here with C4 Depot. I'm going to be showing you the new feature in Infinite Ocean that lets you float objects um, very easily. Many of you have been requesting. So, um, I've added a first thing when you import Infinite Ocean, you'll see that uh, the buoy now is floating uh, according to the movement of the water. And I'm going to increase the height of these swells and make the timeline a little bit longer make the movement faster to illustrate it more smoothly okay now as you can see um, the buoy is floating by default and the way that works is um, in case you want to do it with other objects is select an object I'm going to be using a cube make it a little bit smaller And uh, object one is assigned to the buoy, so we're going to leave that. So I'm going to go to object two, and you can see this parameter here, floating object two. Let's go ahead and drop the cube in there. Now you can see over here we have a cube that's floating next to the buoy, and you can do this with uh, the other three controllers here. And uh, the cool thing about this is not only does it float, but uh, you can animate its position and movement using this controller. So if I wanted to move the buoy, I simply move this controller here and the buoy will follow um, according to the waves. And if I want to move the floating square cube, I mean, I would be moving this object here. So you can move it, you can even move it up and down to get it to come up or go lower but uh basically all you have to do is move it along the x and the z axis and it will follow the water and you know infinite ocean works as usual it's infinite in every direction no matter what but now you have the added ability to float objects and let's go ahead and add another object to float go ahead and choose three and we'll drop the sphere Boom, now we have a third object floating in here. And you can do that all the way down. All right, guys, I hope this tutorial has helped you. I hope this new feature is going to make your life much easier. Have a good day, guys. Bye.